Hello there, Science Kids! Welcome sa ating new episode ng Grade 4 Science Learning Activities. Handa na ba kayo para sa ating panibagong lesson sa episode na ito? My name is Teacher Lariza at narito na ang ating new episode para sa Grade 4 Science Activities. The third quarter in Grade 4 Science focuses on force and motion. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to understand that force can change the shape, size, and movement of an object. Before heading to our today's topic, let us first unlock the different terminologies that you need in understanding this science concept. The first one is force. Force is either a push or a pull which occurs when two or more objects interact with each other. It causes an object to move. In Tagalog, ang force o pwersa ay ang pagtulak o paghila na nagaganap sa dalawa o higit pang bagay na nagkaroon ng interaksyon. Ito ang nagiging sanhi o dahilan kung bakit nagkakaroon ng paggalaw ang mga bagay. It can be due to magnetism, gravity, or anything that causes an object to move. Next is push. Push is a force applied in a direction away from our body. In Tagalog, ang pagtulak ay isang uri ng force na palayo mula sa ating katawan. Next, we have pull. Pull is a force applied in a direction towards our body. In Tagalog, ang paghila ay isang uri ng force na patungo o papunta sa direksyon ng ating katawan. Lastly, we have motion. Motion is an action of changing position or location. In Tagalog, kapag sinabi nating motion o galaw, ito ay ang aksyon ng pagbabago ng lokasyon o posisyon ng isang bagay. Force is needed to move an object or to set an object into motion. Without force applied on an object, the object will not move. This is what the first law of motion of Sir Isaac Newton is stating. According to this law, an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by an external force. Halimbawa ay ang upuang ito. This chair will not move unless someone will push or pull it. Kapag ang isang tao ay hinila ang upuang ito, it will move from this point up to this point. The chair is set into motion because of the force applied on it. Force has always been a part of our daily lives. It cannot be seen by our eyes, but we can feel its effect on our bodies. Whether we are doing household activities, working on fields, or even playing, we can see the effects of forces in action. For our first activity, let us try to identify different actions as to whether they show a push or a pull. Let's get into action. Bend. Twist. Lift. Tear. Tap. Carry. Throw. Squeeze. Drag, crumple, press, lean. In that activity, these are the actions that show push and these are the actions that show pull. However, there are actions that show both push and pull like these activities. Do you have the same answers with me? You're doing a good job! Now, do this learning activity. Identify the actions shown as to whether they push or pull. Do this on your notebook. Well done! Now that you can identify the different actions that show push and pull, let us now examine the different effects of these actions to the shape and size of an object by doing this activity. Are you ready? Come on! Now, let us proceed to our experiment time.
Here are the materials that you need in doing this activity. We have glue stick, plastic cup, piece of wire, clay, and soap. Here is what we are going to do in our activity. The first one is to copy the table on your notebook. Number two, identify ways to change the shape or size of the materials for this activity. Write what you did in column B. Number three, observe the change that happened for each material and write it down on column C. Do this on your notebook. Here are the guide questions that we need to answer after doing the activity. Number one, what did you apply when you bend, twist, pressed, or cut the object? Number two, what happens to an object when force is applied on it? And lastly, from what you experience, what can force do? In this activity, it is important for you to note that the size and shape of an object can change when force is applied on it. Pushing, pulling, pounding, compressing, bending, twisting, tearing, stretching, or squeezing are some ways of changing the size and shape of an object. In Tagalog, ang kwersa o force ay nagdudulot ng pagbabago sa sukat at hugis ng isang bagay. Ang pagtulak, paghila, pagpungpo, pagyupi, pagbaliko, at pagpunit ay inan lamang sa mga paraan na maaari nating gawin upang mabago ang sukat at hugis ng isang bagay. Now, let us try this activity. Put a check mark if the shape of an object may change and cross mark if it does not. Do this on your notebook. Now, let us do another activity that will show other effect of force to an object. So, in this activity, ay titignan naman natin ang effect ng force sa isang object. So, we have two trials in this activity. Ang first trial natin ay ikupush natin ang toy car na ito with a lesser force. However, sa ating second trial naman, ay ipupush natin ang toy car na ito with a greater amount of force. Para malaman natin ang comparison ng dalawang trial na ito, ay kukunin natin ang distance traveled ng toy car na ito sa trial A and trial B. Okay, are you ready? So, for our first trial, ipupush ko ang ating toy car with a lesser force. Okay, and then let's get its distance traveled. So it traveled a distance of 117 centimeters. Now let us do our second trial. So, for our second trial ay ipupush ko yung toy car with a much or stronger force. Okay? Oops. So, I'm so 
Okay, so since ito ay sumobra dun sa ating meter speed, tignan natin. So, ito ay 100. Idugtong natin dito. Tapos kunin natin yung distance. Okay. So, ito ay nag-travel ng distance of 215. 215 centimeters. In this activity, you observe that the stronger the force, the farther the toy car travels. Mas malakas na force, mas malayo ang distansyang mararating ng isang object. Kung less o mahina naman ang force na inexert, mas malapit ang distansya na mararating ng isang object. Therefore, the greater the amount of force, the greater the effect or change can be on the object. The lesser the amount of force, the lesser the change or effect on an object. Force can cause an object to move, stop, or change direction. Without force, a moving object will not stop. Sa ating activity, ang force na inapply ko sa toy car ang dahilan kung bakit ito gumalaw. Ang tawag dito ay applied force. However, kuminto ang toy car dahil sa tinatawag nating friction force. Ito ang force ng sahig against sa force ng toy car na naging dahilan upang ito ay unti-unting bumagal at tumigil. Ito ay ipinapakita ng third law of motion kung saan isinasaad nito na for every action, there is an equal but opposite reaction. Now, let us do an activity that will show the relationship between the force and the amount of mass of an object. Hello there mga bata, ngayon na ipapakita ko sa inyo sa activity na ito ang relationship ng amount ng mass ng isang object sa force na ina-apply natin dito. Meron tayong dalawang setup para sa activity na ito. For our setup A, ay nag-prepare ako ng basin na walang laman. So, for our first activity, ang gagawin natin ay transfer natin ang empty basin na ito from this point up to this point. For setup B naman, ay lalagyan natin ng tubig ang basin na ito bago natin i-transfer from this point up to this point. I-observe natin kung ano ang mangyayari sa amount of force na kailangan natin i-exert from setup A and setup B. For our first setup, empty basin. For our second setup, lalagyan natin ng laman ng ating basin. Now, we will transfer this basin with water from this point up to this point. For this activity, ay titignan pa rin natin ang relationship ng mass ng isang object sa force na kailangan natin i-exert para ito ay mabago natin ang posisyon. In this activity, meron na tayong dalawang setup kung saan meron tayong empty boxes and books sa ating point A at ito naman ang ating point B. For our first setup, ay ito transfer natin ang empty box from that point to this point. For setup B, ay lalagyan natin ng books ang ating empty box bago natin ito ay transfer from that point up to this point. Now, it's your time to observe the amount of force that I will exert from setup A and setup B. Empty box. Empty box natin. Ang lagi Okay. We will transfer this again. From this point. Here are the books. Again, we will transfer. In this 
activity, you observe that objects with less mass require a lesser force for it to move a certain distance. However, objects with greater mass require a stronger or greater force for it to move a longer distance. In Tagalog, ang mga object na magagaan ay nangangailangan ng mahinang kwersa lamang para ito ay maigalaw o maiba ng posisyon. Samantalang ang mga mabibigat na object naman ay nangangailangan ng mas malakas na pwersa upang ito ay maigalaw o mabago ng posisyon. Now, let us try to do this activity. Complete the following statements from column A using the words given on column B. You can do this on your notebook. For this activity, Put a check mark before each number if the situation demonstrates movement and cross mark if it does not. Do this on your notebook. You can check the answers at the end of this video. Now let us check your understanding. Choose the letter of the correct answer for each number. Number 1. Which among the following objects will require a greater force to move? A. Refrigerator B. Study Table C. Chair D. TV Number 2. Which among the objects below require lesser force to move? A. Book B. Notebook C. Pencil D. Blackboard Eraser Number 3. Which of the following objects will move more easily when a force is applied to it? A. Plastic dining table B. Empty steel cabinet C. Small refrigerator D. Small wooden dining table Number 4. If a boy will have to kick one object, which one from the list below will move the farthest upon kicking? A. Shot football B. Softball C. Golf ball and D. Tennis ball Lastly, which among the objects will move faster upon the application of a force? A. Marble B. Ping Pong Ball C. Pebble D. Beach Ball That's it, Science Kids! I hope you learned something new in our science episode for today. If you like this video, do not forget to hit like and subscribe in our channel and ring the notification bell for you to be updated in our upcoming videos. You can also follow me on my different social media accounts Maaari mo nang i-check ang iyong mga sagot gamit ang Kito Correction na ito.